Yo, what is going on everybody? My name is Ruzik and today I'm bringing you guys another video on the channel And of course we are on black ops 2 honestly I've been loving black ops 2 lately, so I've been just playing this mostly I know I said I'm mixing up with my gameplays and such like that But right now I'm having a lot of fun with black ops 2 I'm pretty sure you guys love it seeing it as well So, you know, why not stop with the gameplay, but I'm also planning to post some cod 4 So that's gonna be some special stuff right there. Dude, this map sucks. This map has no concept whatsoever you see when you ever get on this map here's how to be successful what you want to do jump off the map and get the fuck out of there this is more like it let's go this is what i want to see treyarch thank you all right so in today's video i have something a little special i want to talk to you guys about a little story that happened recently and i'm not talking about a good story i'm talking about a really weird story that nobody should ever do during school l l l l lambo gany marshley Yo, bitch, she's so thirsty. So this story really happened about a month and a half ago, and I really don't want to go into full detail because I know some people, they just don't like talking about this discussion. As you guys can see in the title, we're going to be talking about yanking during class, if you want to call it yanking, pulling your hog, all that stuff. Now, if you're a guy, I could understand how, you know, sometimes you have a lot of temptations in life. Sometimes you see a girl wearing a revealing dress at school. Sometimes you see porn on the wall. Sometimes you can just imagine the wrong stuff that can really set you off and I'm really talking in a guy's perspective here when a guy hits puberty guys go through a lot of different changes than women do we grow hair everywhere we grow everywhere i mean i can feel where the guy's coming from i hit puberty in fifth grade i'm in eighth grade now so i was one of the early ones i was a really early bloomer so that even made it that much harder on me because i didn't really know what i was getting myself into i would get boners during class if i looked at even a photo of a girl then i would just imagine the wrong thing and it'll just set off my hormones just like that. I was growing hair in, in places that I didn't even know existed. But there's one thing that I've never done, and trust me, I don't want to do it. And that is jacking off during school. Now, like I said, when you hit puberty and such like that, you have a lot of exposure you might want to call it i mean nowadays you can listen to music and they could be talking about having sex or shaking a girl's ass so in today's world you have a lot of temptations but like i said there's one thing that i've never done and that is jacking off during school so about a month and a half ago like i said i was in now i'm not gonna say what period or what class it was because because i'm not sure if this guy watches my videos or not so i don't really want to embarrass him but the people who were in my class knew what was going on oh let's go let's go that was sick that was so sick i didn't know where he was that was so sick i need to hit this in a public lobby honestly I'll take that. That was, a long, that was a long shot too. Let's go. But we're in the middle of class. All of us are working on a paper that we have to take notes over for a test. Now at this time, you could actually work with your partner. So me and my squad of people kind of grouped up in the front of the classroom where our desks were. We all sort of worked together. Now there is this kid in my class. He's actually new this year. He actually came in the middle of the school year. And every time when I see him, I always see one thing with him. I always see his phone on him with his beats connected to it. I'm not even kidding you. Every time I see this guy, he always has his phone on him and his beats on him. He's always listening to music or he's always watching something. And I'm not talking about something good that he's watching. Every day he always watches Ruzik's videos. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. He doesn't. <laughs> Oh, what if he was jacking off to one of my videos? Oh my god, I shouldn't- I just put that in my head. I think I just changed the whole situation around. And at this time, I believe this kid had finished his paper, so he's just chilling in the back of the classroom. So this guy is sitting on the wall, and he has his phone plugged in with his beats on. And at this time, we're all talking. We're all copying down papers, and we're all talking. And of course, you know, I'm the one who has to notice this first. I'm the one. Me, Bryson, is the one who notices this. Everything happens to me. Everything. Everything happens to me. Just because I have a YouTube channel, everything happens to me. So at this time, like I said, me and my squad are talking. We're all talking. We're having a good time. And suddenly, my eyes focus in the back of the classroom. 
where the guy is sitting. And when I look back there, I notice something weird that's going on in his pants. I don't know why I noticed it at first, but I notice a hand movement going in his pants. His hand is in his pocket, stroking up and down on the inner part of his leg. Now at this time, I didn't really make much of it because I thought to myself, oh, maybe he's just like getting something out of his pocket or something. So a couple minutes pass by and I look over there again and he's still doing it. And because he's doing it, I, I make a smirk funny comment saying, oh my God, look at that guy. He's jacking off. I said it in like a, you know, a funny way, just making fun of him or something. But once my group really looks over there, we all kind of take a second look and we all kind of see what's really going on. I mean, this guy's been at it for about like what, six minutes? And I'm pretty sure that nobody takes six minutes to get something out of their pocket. So we all notice that this guy's actually jacking off during class. This guy has his hand in his pocket and he's stroking his dick in his pants. And you could tell that he was actually watching a video and I'm pretty sure that the video was porn. Or at least I hope so because I don't want him jacking off to my videos. Because the phone's sort of like in his face. He's like this and he's going like this. This is like the perfect, this is the perfect model of what he was doing. He has his beats on, he has his phone right in front of him and he has his hand in his pants and he's stroking up and down like this. Oh, you touched my ta la la. Mmm, my ding ding dong. So we all noticed that this guy's doing it and the girls just get automatically disgusted so since the girls are disgusted they get up and they tell my teacher and and you know it all sort of stops by then because the teacher gets on to him and such like that so yeah but overall the situation was so uncomfortable that i had to tell it in this video today if you guys watched my videos before you guys know that i let everything out on this channel and i'm not gonna not let this out on my channel as well so anyways guys thank you for watching hopefully you guys enjoyed the video if you guys did don't forget to smack that like button and i was wondering something have you guys ever seen someone jack off in your school has anybody jacked off in your school before tell me that down in the comment section below as well as hashtag ruzik does not jack off during school that'll tell me who my true fans are and stuck around until the end of the video but before i go i just want to let you guys know that there are some new hoodies and some new t-shirts in the ruzik apparel store if you guys want to go check them out and buy them then go ahead i'll put the link down in the description below there are some sick clothing in there that i think you guys need to check out i bought some myself so i think you guys should as well but anyways guys i'm gonna go thank you guys for watching and i will see all of your beautiful faces on the next one peace